If you're like me and you've already collected all of the released fighters, I think it's time for you to check out some custom fighters. In today's episode, the crewmates from Among Us. And here are the crewmates. Uh, if you have not noticed, there is no hero miniature for this deck. It is only six sidekicks, one being an imposter and the rest being crewmates. Um, so if we take a quick close look at them, they are all this gray uh, crewmate here, all identical, except for whenever they are discovered, you will flip them over and reveal their true identity. In this case, the blue crewmate. And then over here we have the yellow and the orange crewmate. And then we have a pink crewmate and a green crewmate. And the last one here being your actual hero, the imposter. So whenever they are flipped over, their identity is discovered, which we will kind of learn what that means in just a second. Um, so let's look at their hero card here. So the imposter here, the red one, is a ranged fighter with 10 health. And then there's five crewmates that are melee and they all have one health, just like regular sidekicks. Um, so quickly, before we kind of dis discuss that a little bit, let's look at the hero ability here. And it says, unless the imposter is discovered, meaning flipped over, he may play crewmate cards as if they were named any. Um, so actually, whenever he is face down and he is a gray crewmate, he is treated as a crewmate. So he is a melee fighter. And until he is flipped over and discovered, he can't attack ranged. Um, but we will kind of discuss that in a second. So let's look at the back here. Kind of talks more about the imposter token, that red one. Our imposter. It says, if your imposter would take damage, as in he is face down and is going to take some damage, you will flip all of the crewmates over to reveal their discovered side and then mark any damage on the imposter's health die. So if a regular crewmate were to take damage, he only has one health. Let's say he took four damage. He would just die with one health. You would reveal him, put him like off the board. If the imposter was damaged with four, he would flip over, reveal himself, mark his four damage on his health dial. Ooh, almost. Or sorry, four damage, so six. Uh, and then you would also reveal all your undiscovered crewmates. And it says, now the imposter is considered to be discovered until a card effect would put him back face down. Um, so yeah, so it kind of is the discovered effect. And then I also missed on the front of the card here, it says, during setup, place all your fighters face down, showing the gray crewmate uh, in empty spaces in your starting zone. So once again, you will start the game with all of six of these guys uh, mixed up. You will be able to know which ones are which, but they will all be in your starting zone. And it's kind of up to your opponent to deduce which one's which. But once he discovers which one is <laughs> the imposter, all of them will be discovered. Um, so a little bit tricky, but let's look at the cards here because that might help us a little bit. And I guess before we look at the cards, we should look at that health dial that I was doing before. Um, once again, I think I'm getting a little bit better at making these. It's a little bit hard to do that, the diamond pattern on the bottom there. But once again, looks and feels like a regular health dial. A little bit smaller than the actual game ones. But once again, when you're playing, you can't tell. It's, it looks pretty great. Um, so let's look at the deck here before we do so. We can also look at the card back here. Uh, one of my favorites, I just like the, <laughs> the space design of the floating bodies. So yeah, so let's look at the crewmate cards first. This is an attack of four with a boost of one, three copies thrown into space, aka ejected. After combat, if you won the combat, move an opposing fighter in your zone up to two spaces and deal them two damage. Once again, ejecting them. Uh, but that is if you won with your four. So that is the first attack one. And then another crewmate card for three attack with two boost and two copies. This is sneak aboard. You may boost this card uh, during combat. You may boost this card after combat. If you won the combat, return one defeated fighter to the board in any space in your zone. Um, so it does not specifically say that he would be face down. So it is a face up crewmate. Um, so obviously if your imposter is off the board, you would have lost the game. Um, so that's all of our attacks for the crewmates. And once again, I do want to remind you that the imposter, while he is face down, he is considered a crewmate, so he may play crewmate cards. But once discovered, he is no longer a crewmate and he cannot play crewmate cards. Um, so these are our defenses for crewmates. This is teamwork with a boost of two and two copies, two defense there. Uh, after combat, choose two of the effects, return a defeated crewmate to the board, once again, face up, uh, or draw two cards, or swap two friendly fighters. Um, so let's say you're 
imposter is a little, oh, where is he? There we go, found him. Uh, let's say he's a little bit closer to your opponent and you want to get him away, you can swap him or you maybe even swap him to get him closer. Your opponent doesn't know, it's a little bit of a mind game. And you get two of these effects, two copies of those. And then deflect suspicion during a meeting. <laughs> uh, three defense, one boost, three copies. And this is immediately, this fighter may swap spaces with another friendly fighter. If it does, that fighter is now the defender. So once again, if your opponent's about to attack your imposter and you don't want that to happen, you can play this guy because he will still be considered a crewmate. And then you can swap spaces and then crewmate that you swapped with is now the defender so that you don't reveal your imposter just yet. And this is actually for any. And then this is another crewmate versatile card. This is a three with a boost of one, three copies, medical scan, so med bay. If your fighter is undiscovered, meaning the gray side, you may flip your fighter. If you do so, this card is now five. So just like in the game, you are proving your innocence that you are a crewmate. But once you are a revealed crewmate, you can't change this to a five. So you can also use it to reveal your imposter, but after you do so, that it's now an imposter, not a crewmate, so you can't be using crewmate cards anymore until you put him back on the board face down, which there'll be a couple cards like that. So it could be used, you know, to just get some more attack or defense and reveal a crewmate you don't care about, or to turn into the imposter, which you can kind of talk about why you'd want to turn into the imposter in a bit. Um, so yeah, three copies of that. And then a tedious task, a versatile of one for the crewmates only. It is two defense and the, or sorry, two boost and three copies. And it says during combat, your opponent discards one card and add its boost value to this card. And it's just discards, They're not a random one, so they get to choose what they are discarding. There's three copies of that. And this is a two versatile for the crewmates only again, a three boost, three copies, watch your back. This is during combat, this card value is plus one for each friendly fighter adjacent to your fighter. So you kind of want to <laughs> get like a whole posse up and try to kind of gang up on uh, the opponent you're you know, attacking. Um, so that's the last of our versatile cards there. And then here's some more any's. I believe there's only two types of any cards in there. The one we saw before in this one. This is a scheme with a boost of one, three copies through the vents, just like an imposter would. Uh, move one of your fighters up to four spaces. He may move through opposing fighters, gain one action. So a good way to move your crewmates or imposters around. Um, and then another any scheme here. This is a boost of two, two copies. This is calling a meeting, hitting that button. Uh, remove your fighters from the board. So you take all of them off the board and then place them back on the board face down in empty spaces. Draw a card for each friendly fighter still in play. So once again, if your uh, imposter is revealed, let's say at this point you only have three left, you can take all three of them off and put them back face down so your opponent no longer knows which one is which again, and your imposter will turn back into a crewmate so he can use crewmate cards again. Um, and then that's the last for that one. So I do wanna point out that besides these schemes here, and then the defense any, the deflect suspicion one, everything else here is crewmate only. So it's kind of scary when you decide, oh. So basically you just don't want to reveal the imposter too like early in the game because you really take away all of these cards that he can use. I mean, you can still use them with your sidekicks, but they are really easy to ping off. I mean, Medusa can just ping one off every turn and then attack them. So you kind of want to keep them hidden until it's the right moment. And these are the cards that we will talk about for that right moment. Um, so there is two types of cards for the imposter specifically. The first being accused red, so imposter only. It's a seven attack, so a nice good beefy one with three boosts, three copies. And this card cannot be canceled. Sounds good at first until we read <laughs> what it does. During combat, reduce the value of this card by one for each crewmate on the board. Um, so once again, if he's revealed, that's when he can use this card. He cannot use it while unrevealed. Um, and let's say all the crewmates are still on the board. There's five crewmates. So this could be a two if you use it too early on. You kind of want to use your crewmates until they are no longer useful. Kill them all off, reveal yourself, and then start dealing some big damage to your opponent. Um, and once again, I do want to point out that he only has that 10 health. So you really need to <laughs> kind of keep yourself hidden and tucked away until the right moment where you can deal all that big damage. Um, and then he also has three attacks here, and these are going to help him get back hidden again. It is Shape Shift with two boost, three copies. It is after combat, remove two friendly fighters from the board. If you do, place two friendly fighters back on the board in empty spaces, any empty spaces. Um, 
and it's not described on here, but this is, you would put them back on face down. Um, so you can take them, you know, your imposter and your regular crewmate, take them off, put them back on, so you just have two. Which, towards the end of the game, not too bad if you just have the imposter and one crewmate, because your seven will be a six. Six, still pretty good. So yeah, so that's the whole deck. All the crewmates kind of made a mess here. Uh, but let's, let's look at my final thoughts. Okay, so that is the imposter. Um, he is one of my more recent favorite custom fighters that I've been able to make. Uh, just because he is so different from the other unmatched fighters. We, ha we haven't had a fighter that is, you know, solely sidekicks. Um, the fact that he is a hidden role makes it so interesting to play as him and figure out if you want to have him ready to go just in case he gets exposed or to hide him and kind of let your opponent figure it out. Or once again, if you're playing against him, the mind games of which one is he, because if you can just find him right away, you can kill him real fast because he's He's just a 10. Um, and once he's discovered, he gets cut off from half of his deck. I mean, so these are the Ennies and the Imposter cards. Um, and the other half of the deck is the Crewmate cards. So once again, when he gets discovered, it's <laughs> he gets cut off from half of his deck. And let's just say you don't happen to draw any Ennies or Imposters and he gets attacked the big card, he's dead. Um, so it's a really, really fun one on there. I love how many times they let you take your characters off and put them back in. It feels super thematic to Among Us. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Um, so if you want to get this fighter for yourself, all of these crewmate tokens I got made at makeboardgames.com. I'll leave a link to the actual piece that you'll be making. Um, and then also leave the files that I made for the images that you print on both sides. Um, and then also the health dial here, I will leave a link to the Make Board Games uh, <laughs> section on there that you can get these printed. I will also leave the artworks so you don't have to make them yourselves like I did. And then lastly here, the deck I actually had printed at makeboardgames.com once again. And then I will uh, leave the link to our creator of the deck here. His name was Bingo No Eyes. You can check him out on Match Dog Decks. I will leave a link for him. Um, I did end up changing not only the background because I felt like I needed something that matched kind of the unmatched style. So I ended up making this. I'll leave the link for that artwork. And then the hero card, as well as the instructions for what to do whenever he gets attacked. I also ended up kind of changing that and making a little bit more like <laughs> form factor to this. So I will leave an image for that as well. Or you can use the original one that he had made. Uh, yeah, so I got to go. My toast is burning.